Okay. Deal with these guys first. Deal with these guys first. Alright, you just gotta be aggressive on those guys, I guess. They're playing Xenoblade Chronicles, you find out why they're British? Because the voice actors are British? I don't. Are they like British in the game? Is it like a lore thing? Can you, can you follow up, please? Like... There we go. See? The follow-up. Clean! Clean. Apparently Nintendo US didn't want to dub it. Didn't think it was worth the time. Nintendo UK did. That's why the dub over here with British accents. What a weird thing that like... Nintendo of America would think that it wasn't worth the time. But Nintendo UK would and would and like did it. And then we're just like, oh, we'll just release it with the with the British dub that we we oh. Can you oh my gosh. All right. It's the worst freaking guys. Just going to do them first. Man. Can you, wow, four hits, really? Okay, what I think I need to do, okay. I think the trick to beating this wave is I need to just pick a, pick, Pick one and, oh my God. Pick one and like stay on him. I think that's the trick. I think that's the trick. Thank you, hero. Yeah, I've got, I mean, listen, I did really well going into the boss. I just need to. I just need to get everything to line up. There's always one that gets stuck back there. That's very funny. Okay. Go.
Boom. Easy handle. Easily handled. Thank you, hero. It's weird that I don't have a four hit combo, I guess. like the camera's doing right now. Thanks. Run! Run! Holy shit! Oh, is it too loud? Um, I'll turn it down. This is why I like dedicated run buttons. Okay, so that third attack definitely does more damage than the first two. Okay, okay. You forgot what we were doing. Ugh. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go the other way. Why am I? I'm turning into his shield. I was like, if you could be, if you could be vulnerable for more than four seconds, that would be awesome. Every two seconds, get auto modded, keeping the man strong. Helix, welcome back. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's boost up. I'll use the boost items on this boss. I'll probably regret it. You're so late game. I don't understand the purpose of freezing him. Whatever, push with magic. Oh no! Um. Uh, there's more than one. More than one.
Oh my god, why can't I hit them? Thank you. Is that it? Is that it? Is there a third one? Rule of threes? Uh, I just got an achievement that says you feel a tingling. I... Are you close to defeating the dark darkness and reunited with Tall Fox person? I hope so. I have a. Oh! Yo. Sammy, thank you for the lurk. So now I have this like darkness laurel. Uh, yeah, see, it's just like destiny. You gotta, you gotta harness the powers of the darkness. Okay. Oh. Can I get to, oh, I can get to the thing now because now I can do this. Ah. Uh. Okay, so now I need to... Also, I don't think I went... Up that way? Man, the number of places... that I've seen in this game where I was like, oh, I bet we go there. I bet we go there once I get some sort of like super dash. I even said Can I, can I get down, please? How do I? How do I get down? How do I get back to where I was? Is there... Uh... Can I... Okay, I can't reach. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is so cool. All right, where?
Where am I going? Where? Okay, I can only go up this way. It feels like it wants me to go this way. So I'm here. You know what I mean? Like, this feels like the right way to go. This feels like the right way to go. Okay. So I'm over. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a little frustrating. see this rope I did not see this rope ah, okay so now we're here and now we can do this Air to the air. Data management. Well, that's nice. Mother. Okay. So now we have this power. So now what we want to do. Oh. Okay. So when it's gold, something happens. I think that's maybe when it's maxed. What? Down, right, up, left, up, down. Something, something, holy cross. Bro, this game is a language you just have to learn over time. So theoretically, you can translate it. I think in some point in the manual, it tells you how to translate it. Um, but I kind of did wish it unlocked, like as you made progress in the game. Um, you know, it, it would be really cool if it changed so that it was like, oh, you understand this word, you understand this word, because it would it would help you understand more of the game overall. Um, so it's down, down right, up left, up right. Fuck! Something like how Fez did it? Uh, I don't know if I played enough of Fez to, to know that. Hidden Secrets! Oh, the Hidden Secrets page. Okay, so something Holy Cross. I don't know what that thing says. 49 is the golden path. We don't have page 49, but maybe we'll we'll find it. Take your rightful clearing the game, take your rightful place. And then those gold doors. 
just came across this. This game is super neat, uh, Tsunami. This game is super good. Have you played Heaven's Vault? It's a really good translation mechanic. Uh, I have it, uh, but I, I, I have not played it. I own it, but I have yet to play it. Okay, so now what I think I need to do is I need to go find um, all of the hero graves so that I can go unlock my um, my my stats. So I need to find where all the hero graves are. There's a little whole hidden language everywhere. In one spot, there was a column, and next to it was quick brown fox jumping over a lazy dog animation happening. People use that to decode other things in the game to find the real puzzles. That's cool. That's neat, because, yeah, that's the that's the way to to do that kind of mechanic is you you give people a. A. a like a base. You know, you give them something to work off of. And then you can translate from there. A Rosetta Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le a, a legitimate Rosetta Stone. All right, so now we've got this Laurel thing. This is so cool. Just when I thought this game had sort of tapped out of things, they hit us with another one. Incredible. It was just a bunch of journaling from there. Yeah, it's just writing it down and pattern recognition and. OK, I want to see something really quick. I want to see something really quick, so we're going to go in here. Fourth key. Oh, a fourth key. OK. This one's pretty easy to get to. There's also a part of me with our language discussion of the day that's fine with knowing words are there, but not being able to understand them. Doing with what you know or what they tell you, not too much extra fluff to get stuck on. Yeah, I was having a discussion uh, um, in, in Val stream, though, where like people process information differently and it's very difficult to say, like, what works for one person will work for all people. No, hang on. So. Is that the right code? Did I do it right? So even just even just a couple more words, I think would have been OK. So I think I think it's just those doors. I think I think that code is just for those doors. So let's let's go find those doors. Um. Yeah, some extra language, especially on the on the pages that are trying to teach you the mechanics. Um, I think would be would be really good. I think I think this game is an a, is a very interesting example of uh, games that to an extent rely on you to have a knowledge of gaming ahead of time. Um, And, I, and you know, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but like, you know, I, I think it's I think it's 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 important to examine games like this and say like, ah, this is where, you know, this is where you know this is kind of faltering. Uh, that's why I like there to be a lot of gibberish that need to be translated because the real worlds, real words you need are there. Yeah, I think I th I think there's examples where just like it's like oh you could have used like two more words here, you know. HV hit a system where it would give you options for each moment. Encounter that word enough times. It would rule out wrong options or confirm you got it right. That's neat. An NPC said a whole bunch, but then was just fourth key, which gave you what you want. Yeah, I, I, I think there's good examples. And then I think it, the manual has has a few bad examples. Um, It's that's the, OK, so that's the one by the fountain. That's the one up. 
I don't think you're getting what I'm saying, but is that, no, 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 I get what you're saying. We're like, as long as they're giving you the key information, um, you're not bothered. And I get that, I get that. Um, but I think that there is some key information that the game wants you to have that they don't do a great job. Oh, I still need that for some things. That's interesting. Um, um, that I, I that I think they don't do a great job of uh, of explaining. But as far as like story and things like that, yeah, I, I think I think they've been they've been doing all right in that regard. Um. Oh. Okay. Where 